Okay, this is where I can show it. So the left hand side is our scale 2662, sorted in the original order A flat 42 down to B34. And this is our tonality reference area. And this is exactly the sort order A flat 42 all the way down to B34. What we've added is the ability to sort things into different kinds of orders, like this one is called a new full order, where the red shows the the sequence numbers that have been changed and here where it says different sort orders on the right sure enough down here we have what we call the new full sort order it starts on uh, a flat two four which is this one and then this one ends at a one one which is this one here 33. not only that we have what we call an interval pair order here and that's this one up here. So this one starts on an A flat one one. There it is. Number one is A flat one one. And the very last one, A one one, is a 33. Somewhere in here is the 30. There it is. Uh, 30, not that one. Here. D44 four four is 33. There it is, D44. Four four. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Motion Part 9, Arcs Part 2. In today's episode, we entered by reflecting on the idea of mirror reflection, negative harmony, is fundamental to our parallel minor major scales. So once you've defined, for example, the minor chord sequence, which we were just showing here a minute ago up here, here's the minor chords. Then we take the mirror reflection of them, and, and that gives us basically reverse spelling order, which is here. Once you set all your minor chords across the top here, da, 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 whatever order you pick, everything down here is a mirror reflection of it. So we wanted to do the same thing down here in the, what we call the full tonality, figure out the way so that there's an upper row, and then everything down here, the lower row, is a perfect reflection of it. So that required some resorting. Basically, we had to resort this, this white area, and we resorted it into this yellow area. And now that reflects that, that reflects that, and so forth and so on. And then that's what, that's, that's what those first row of new red numbers was. So we did that. So that's done. It required some resorting. We also said, well, these are new ideas, so why don't we stick with one scale? We'll stick with the 2662 scale. It's one of the four scales we've not yet composed with, with extended chords, and it has some interesting other features. So for now, we're going to work with that, and that's what we did. So uh, one of the key things that we did is we added one more column to our database model calling the chord root. So the idea here is that if it's an A flat 4 2 chord, we're going to show, hey, it starts on an A flat. If it's a B flat 1 1, hey, it starts on a B flat. And we already had all the rest of this. And that lets us start to sort things based on the chord spelling order, which we like a lot. Uh, we already talked about the new sort orders and we made the new sequences. So what we're going to do to bring us home is we're going to play for you one of these brand new sequences uh, in comparison to the original sort order. And the one we like a lot so far is what we call interval pair sort. So this is what it sounds like. Let's do it this way. Yep, yep, yep. Here's the original order on the left. Here's the new order on the right. Or one of the new orders. And remember, we're going to make many, many, many new orders, not just not just the original, but um, so they're the same scales, the same scales, same scale, same chords, but now in different orders. So here's the first six chords over here.
with a different sort order, we get and um, so on and so forth. So let's play all of the new interval pair sort. Here we go. And you can hear there's also a kind of a progression in consonants, which we've learned before in a previous composition where we did interval pair sorts. So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to keep working with the 2662557 scale with these and other sort orders. Uh, we're working the system out as we go along. Acknowledgements to Manu and Grimo and um, Thanks for stopping by and making comments. Uh, tune in next time to see what happens. Do come back, do take care, and do keep on streaming. <laughs>